Are you guys sick of me changing plans yet? This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I've got news. <laughs> I was having a chat with Jay the other day. Wow, let's take a moment to look at how beautiful my door looks. Ah, amazing. Um, anyway, I was having a chat with Jay the other day, and he brought up something that got me thinking. So, when we first started the whole design process of the house, I... I remember having the thought, like, oh, what if we changed where the basement stairs were because it's kind of in the way. Um, but then I was like, oh, man, that seems like a lot of work. Me not knowing anything about construction, you know, changing, putting a new hole in the ground and making the, t the stairs go a different direction, like, that seems like a really big job. But Jay came to me the other day and he's like, have you ever thought about moving the basement stairs? Because I was looking at the basement and it wouldn't be that hard to do. He said that um, we'd have to change a couple floor joists or cut a few joists and do this and do that, whatever, you know, fancy talk that I don't understand. I probably will someday, but right now I don't. Um, anyway, and so he said that it wouldn't be that big of a deal. And so I got to thinking, okay, well, how would life be if I did that? Okay, so these are the basement stairs right now. It's when you walk in the main door, you walk straight in and bam, that's the view you have right now. Bam, there's the basement stairs. Um, the thing about the basement stairs is that they're in really, really rough shape. So no matter how you look at it, we're going to have to make new basement stairs because they're super unsafe. So if we're already having to make new basement stairs, it's not going to be that, that, that much more work to move the stairs. So obviously I would move the basement stairs so that they're directly underneath the going upstairs stairs because that's the way that makes sense. <laughs> but this house does not have what makes sense in a lot of areas. Anyway, so here's the basement stairs as of now. I'm sure you can't see how bad they really are, but they're pretty sketchy. Um, also, fun fact, you like have to, you always have to um, well, I'm very short, so I don't have to, but the majority of the world has to duck down to get underneath the stairs to continue downstairs. By the way, quick side note, I wanted to show you my fuel tank. Would you look at that? You really <laughs> cannot see it. But you can imagine. So, of course, if we were to move the basement stairs, where does that leave us design-wise? I'm glad you asked. So just at first glance, I'm thinking I would make um, where the stair base is landing, wherever, what we just looked at, I would make that into a closet. Um, so basically, instead of the under the stairs closet that I had thought before, I would instead have a closet here at the entryway, the front door entryway. So next to the stairs to go upstairs, I would have another door here and this would go to that small um, closet space, which would actually be a nice, a nice size closet. And it wouldn't have that awkward diagonal under the stairs thing, which would be nice. So here we are where um, me and my mom cut down, well, when we broke down the purple room and the, this wall here that's between the pantry, kitchen, um, we took down this wall of wood and... This is the closet door, the current old closet door. So this would be right where the basement stairs would be if we decided to go this way. So I'm just kind of showing you what the options are here. As always, just trying to decide what's best. So um, I haven't made any final decisions, but this is my thought if we did go this route. So I want to know what you guys think for sure. Um, leave it in the comments. So at the end of this video, I want to show you on the floor planner what my thoughts are of how to move it around if we did change that. But for tonight, I want to take down this wall um, and take down this wall so I can get a better view of how things are laid out. As always, if you forgot or missed that other video, I don't even remember which one it is. Um, but just a reminder, this house is a post and beam house, so that means that um, none of the walls are load-bearing. All of the load is bared on the posts and the beams. So, 
Let's see what we can do. So, as I um, get working on this, I wanted to tell you guys about something extremely exciting that's happening in my little life. Um, I know that I mentioned it before in a video or two, but my goodness, these are in tight. I am headed to Ethiopia very, very shortly. Um, and even as you are watching this video, I probably am already there and or on my way back. So I've been going like a crazy mad woman because I wanted to, you know, get everything that I could done at the house before I left and even prepare videos so that they would keep going even while I am there. So I've been going kind of 100 miles per hour, but it's all good stuff because I've gotten so much done at the house, which is great, um, you know, because I'm going to be gone for, what, 10 days and nothing is going to happen. Well, maybe it will. Um, Jay is also gone. Um, I'm not sure when he's getting back, but Seth might be working a little bit at the house while I'm gone. But, anywho, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my trip. I don't see a lot happening here. I think I'm going to have to really just sawzall all a lot of this stuff. I just want to see what it looks like and without this wall. I'm going to Ethiopia with a nonprofit organization called Partners with Ethiopia. And I have actually been um, working as the volunteer bookkeeper for them for, gosh, I don't know, four, four or five years, something like that. So I always hear all the names, you know, and I'm typing in all the names of all the um, organizations. So Partners with Ethiopia is a nonprofit that's set in the U.S., and the main point of it is to raise money and um, send it over to local nonprofits that are in Ethiopia. So these are people that grew up there and really know the need, so they're well suited to have these organizations, you know, and we, as partners with Ethiopia, just help support them. So I hear the names of these different nonprofits, but I don't really know, you know, I've never seen them in action and stuff. So I am really, really excited to go and actually see everything firsthand that's happening there. Um, really, really excited. So I'm hoping that I can actually take some video clips while I'm there and maybe even share a few things here on my channel, you know, just a little bit so you can have an idea of what I've been up to. Oh, there we go. So yeah, that'll be really, really fun and exciting. I cannot wait. And even just to get away from all the craziness, like it's been especially, especially hectic, trying to close it all in for winter and all that fun stuff. So, and you know me, I love to travel, love to travel. And this is something really, really new and different for me. I've never been to Africa before. So, yeah, I just can't wait to see how... Different people live their lives and stuff, you know? It's really exciting. Okay. So, speaking of traveling, woohoo! Um, I wanted to take a moment to tell you about, um, also, our sponsor for this video, Surfshark VPN. Um, so... VPN stands for Virtual Private Network.
actually, I'm going to run and grab my phone so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Yes, virtual private network. So this is an app that's really, really neat. It keeps your personal identity safe by encrypting all of the information that's sent between your phone and the internet. So it's really easy. You just open the app and click on Quick Connect, and then you're all set. You can just X out and do your thing. So if you're traveling or even if you're at your local coffee shop, you're using these different Wi-Fi networks that can be unsecured, and that's where these sketchy hackers are looking for you to steal all of your information. Yeah, scary stuff. So Surfshark doesn't monitor, track, or store your information. It just encrypts your data so that you can safely surf the web. I will definitely be using Surfshark when I go to Ethiopia and if I'm using different public Wi-Fi networks because you just never know. Okay, so another feature that Surfshark has um, that's really, really cool is you can actually change your virtual location by changing your IP address. So you might be thinking, as I first did, like, okay, what does that mean and why would I ever want to do that? I'm glad you asked. So here is just one very real life example crazy stuff. So say I am a person who has Netflix and wants to watch The Office. All of these things are true. Problem is, here in America, The Office is not currently on Netflix. But I remember over the summer when I was in France, I watched The Office on Netflix because different countries have different things available on Netflix or whatever streaming service you want to watch or whatever show you want to watch. You know, different things are available in different countries. So, check this out. This is crazy. So, I can go into the Surfshark app and change my location to France. And when I go back to Netflix, ta-da, there it is. Isn't that crazy? I had no idea that that existed. So, Surfshark has a lot of really cool features that helps you keep your private information private as it should be. So, there's a special link in my description. and Use the code ABBY for 85% off and three months free. Surfshark also offers a 30-day risk-free money-back um, guarantee, so there's no risk in giving it a try. Okay, back to work. What is going to come with this? Are you ready? By the way, I do have to take this down, but one job at a time. so musty. So honestly, maybe I should do a poll. Hey, that might be fun. Um, in my little community page to see what you guys think. But I think I think you're gonna like whoops, I think you're gonna like the idea of moving moving the basement stairs. It just seems to make sense, you know. And wow, this opens it up, huh? Um, yeah, it just seems to make sense, and I like. I'm excited to show you the floor planner, the floor planner ideas that I have because. There's a couple things that I think I think are going to make more sense for the whole flow of the house, specifically kitchen pantry area. Where's my little bar? I'm sorry for leaving you guys in such um, anticipation. You have to wait all the way to the end of the video, but you know, anticipation is good for you. For example, 
I am very anxious and excited to go to Ethiopia. Um, like I said, when this video comes out, I'll probably already be on my way home. But for me filming this, I'm leaving in one week from tomorrow. And um, I'm very excited to go. But the more excited you are and the longer you have to wait for something, you know, just makes you appreciate it more. And I have a feeling that's how you're going to feel about getting to see the floor planner app of this little kitchen area. You can call this Life Lessons with Abby. So what I'm going to do is basically take my little sawzall and cut a line right down the middle. And all of my seasoned construction workers are like, uh, yeah, Abby, that's what I've been telling you to do since day one, but sometimes it takes me a little while to learn. Also, obviously, I'm not seeing your comments until after it's already done. <laughs> Aw, guys, I just did something really cool and I forgot to record it. I cut all the way down and I, hi yeah, kicked it. It's like a kung fu artist. Bummer. And goodness knows I can't kick that high. Well, maybe I can. Trudy, if Trudy was here, she is a really high kicker. A little bit. I had to hold on. Wasn't that impressive. So basically, if we remove the, the stairs, my tentative thought is to have the pantry start here. And like I said, this is going to make more sense with the design thing. But so the pantry would be all the way across here. And then this would be accessed from the kitchen. Therefore, this whole thing would disappear. And of course, these walls were going to be redone anyway. So even if we don't decide to go this way, um, these were going to be new walls anyway because of just making the walls straight and having them the correct thickness because the way that this house was built was funky and it's not thick enough to have your normal outlet boxes and stuff. So all of this was going to be redone anyway, but by doing it now, we'll have a better idea to be able to see how things actually would be if we do decide to move the basement stairs. <laughs> There we go. Beauteous. Okay, I'm starting to see it already. Got it. Let's get you guys out of the way. There it is. And just like that, it's open. Okay, so we're going to go home now and see what the tentative design plan change would be if we do decide to make this basement stair change. So all you need to know as of now is that this would be the door to the basement and the, the pantry wall would be on this side of it across here. Okay, so here is what I'm thinking 
for the plan for if I change the stairway. First of all, instead of the door being here, where it is now, I would move the door over here for the closet that I had mentioned before. So having the closet door here, which I think would be really nice because it makes less doors in the living room. So if you look over in the kitchen area, um, one of the big changes obviously is that I would be able to move everything over to this side of the house because there's going to be more space in here to walk through. Um, that was my big thing before is I didn't want it to be squished to have um, not good walking space. But with opening up the wall like we just did today, it makes more space here. And with that change, I also changed the door to the pantry. Instead of being here in the hallway, I changed it to be on the same side as the kitchen, which I think will be really awesome. I do feel like the um, measurements in this are not quite 100% accurate. So things look a little different than I know that they actually are. For example, this wall looks really short here, but we were just there. We know it's not short. Um, but anyway, so with the door here, you would walk directly into the pantry from the kitchen, which I think will be really, really handy versus having to go around the corner. So I can show you guys in 3D. Of course, it looks a little funky because the stairs obviously have a wall here. But anyway, as you can see, everything's coming from this side instead of the other side. And the hallway is just a hallway, and the two doors are going to be right here and right here. And this will make for an easier flow of walking directly through without having to go into the kitchen. So yeah, those little changes I think would make potentially a lot smoother of a, a flow throughout the whole house. and. I like the idea of not having that extra door in the living room. So I don't know if I would keep this as a um, like cleaning closet, extra closet of whatever I want to put in there, or if I would change this, I could also change this to be just a coat closet and then in the laundry room just have more of a utility sort of laundry room and cleaning closet and all that stuff in there. Um, so I haven't decided on that. Obviously, I haven't decided on anything. I would love to know your guys' opinion on it and um, if you think this is a good way to go or if you have other ideas. Yeah, so those are the options um, that I'm dealing with right now. I would love to know what you guys think, if you think I should move the basement door or keep it where it is or other thoughts that you have on the design. If you missed the layout video that I did a couple weeks ago, I will put a card up for that. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And um, I have a playlist called My Fixer Upper Journey. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more about the house, um, you can watch that playlist and it'll show you all the stuff that we've done already since day one. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to click on my link in the description for three free months. I will see you guys next time. Bye!